Alright, so this is the video on double hashing. Double hashing starts the same way every other hashing starts. Make a table with indices from 0 to mod minus 1. Mod the number and insert into the corrected modded index. If the index is full and you hit a collision, this is where it's different. You're going to insert the original number into a second equation. The second equation will always be given to you. Fully complete the second equation. Don't do half of it, do the full equation. And then the second equation is going to give you not the place to insert the number, but rather the number of buckets to jump by. So if the number in the second equation spit out 2, you're going to start it from bucket 0. You're going to jump 2, then 4, then 6, then 8, until you hit an empty spot where there are no um, collisions to be made. So let's jump right into it. Um, I'm going to assume by now you know how to mod things. So I've already set up uh, everything modded already, so I'm not going to do anything on that. So if you don't know how to do that, please uh, look into it elsewhere. But this is going to be a simple uh, tutorial on it, so show the result of hashing these numbers into a table with x mod 5, so we're doing mod 5, using the double hashing equation right here. So they've given you a second equation to use if needed. So starting with 19 and working our way down, um, we're going to insert 19, so 19 mod 5 is 4. 4 is an empty slot, so we can insert 19 right like that. 50 mod 5 is 0, so 50 is empty, we can insert 50 right like that. 89 mod 5 is 4. Oh, we just inserted that, so it's not free. What do we do? We go to the second equation, and we insert the number we were trying to insert into the second equation. So 89 mod 3 is going to give us a remainder of finish the equation. So 89 mod 3 is 2. 3 minus 2, however, is 1. So that means we're jumping by buckets of 1. So we start here. This is where our original collision took place at 4. And we jump by buckets of 1. So we jump here. Oh, that's full. So we then jump by buckets of 1 again right to here. That's empty, so we can insert 89 as following, just like that. So 39 is the next one. We try and insert 39 here, but obviously it is full. So what do we do? We then, once again, use the equation. So we insert 39 this time. 39 mod 3 is going to give us 0. 3 minus 0 is going to give us 3. So we then jump by buckets of 3. So, starting where the original collision took place, right here, we go 1, 2, 3. 39 is the bucket we jump to, or we put right in here. We're jumping by buckets again of 3 in this scenario. So hopefully that makes sense. Give it a try on um, this one, see if you can figure it out. And uh, I've already done the modding for you. So, ready, go. Hopefully this makes sense, hopefully you give it a try, and at least pause the video, if not, I'm gonna get going on it anyways. So again, starting at the beginning, 4 mod 5 is gonna equal 4, so that goes right there. 9 mod 5 is gonna equal 4, we would put it there, but we can't, so we have to put it into the new equation. Now note, this equation happens to be the same as this equation, but that's not always the case, and will not always be the case, so make sure you look out for that. So, this equation is um, going to be putting 9 in there, so 9 mod 3 minus 0 is going to equal 3, so we're jumping by buckets of 3. So starting here, we go 1, 2, 3, and 9 goes right here, just like that. So 14 mod 5 equals 4, again we hit a collision, so we're going to have to do the equation again. So, we do... 14 this time, 14 mod 3 is going to give us a remainder of uh, 2, so 3 minus 2 is going to equal 1, which means we're jumping by buckets of 1, so starting here, we jump by buckets of 1, so that's 1 right there, 14 goes right here, hopefully it makes sense so far, uh, last 2, so uh, 1 mod 5 is going to get put in the 1 bucket, easy peasy, and then 19 mod 5 is going to be 4. So, 19 mod 5 is going to have to be put into the second equation, 
So 19 mod 3 is going to give us a remainder of, what is that, 2? Um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 1. Okay, so the remainder is 1. So 3 minus 1 is going to be 2. So there we go. That's the answer. And we jump by buckets of 2. So 19, starting here, we jump and we go 1, 2. Nope, that's full. So we go 1, 2. Oh, right there. That's uh, empty, so we can insert 19 just like that. And that's the answer. So hopefully this makes sense. I'm going to do a mega problem at the end, and I'm going to warn you, there's a trick with this one. This actually isn't solvable. You can do all of the, you can insert all of the numbers except for one. So see if you can try and figure it out, and uh, pause the video, come back, hopefully you'll be able to uh, guess at the problem. Alright, so I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to open these up. I've already done everything in advance. Um, so that way we can just uh, focus purely on what the concept is. So we start with 89. 89 mod 10 equals 9. So that means we can insert it right here just like that. 18 mod 10 equals 8. This again can go right here. No problem. 49 mod 10 is going to equal 9 though. Now this doesn't work, we have a collision. So what do we do? We bring it over to the second equation. Second equation over here. And then, we're going to take it and insert 49 into the second equation. 49 mod 10 equals 9, and 10 minus 9 equals 1. So we're jumping by buckets of 1, which means we start, well, originally since this is the number that was uh, collided, 9 was collided, we start at 9, jumping by buckets of 1. So we jump just 1, and we're actually free and clear to put that right there. Good, so we're done with that. Then we've got 58, 58 mod 10 equals 8, which unfortunately that bucket's full. So 58 mod 10 equals 8, 10 minus 8 is 2, so we jump by buckets of 2. Now here's the confusing part, a lot of people then want to start here again, this is wrong. Do not start here. You have to start at 8 now. Why? Because we were modding by 8 this time around. So the original collision was at mod 8. So starting at mod 8, jump bucket of 2, we go 1, 2, 1, 2. So this would go right here, 58, right like that. 62 mod 10 equals 2, um, which cannot go where we want it to because we just filled that up with 58. So 62 mod 10 equals uh, 2, 10 minus 2 equals 8, we jump by buckets of 8 starting at 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's full, so we try 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, full again, so we try one more time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So that means we can insert 62 right here, just like that. Lastly, we have 6 uh, mod 10, which is 6. Uh, we just inserted that here, so that doesn't work, which means we have to come over here and jump by buckets of 4. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Which leaves us with 6. And lastly, 60 mod 10 equals 0. And this is the infinity one that we cannot solve, because we start here, and even with the second equation, we would mod by 10 and jump by buckets of 10, which means we're actually always going to loop back to 0 over and over again. So this one isn't actually solvable. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys, and uh, just so you know, this sort of problem would be something you'd have to watch the rehashing video on to learn how to solve this problem fully. Hopefully uh, double hashing makes sense to you though, and uh, this problem and tutorial was helpful. Thanks so much for watching.